uh, there certainly are a lot of things I'm going to miss. Uh, foremost of all are the people. The people of uh, Orange are just um, amazing people. Um, they're very caring people. Whenever there's a, a need, the people will meet that need. And that's what I'm going to miss most, I think. Uh, there's lots of other things. I, I just love the climate here. Uh, the Four Seasons are special. The wines, the food that we produce, um, um, the, the diversity of the place. Um, the, the, the history of the place. I, I love the history and I'm very passionate about my history as well, uh, having been involved as a historian for, for so long and writing books and, and articles over so many years. So I'm going to miss the history. But where I'm going, there's lots of history too, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty keen to get involved in that too. When you look at your days on the council and as mayor, how do you sort of compare those days with the council and local government generally that we have now? I'm, I'm pretty proud of my involvement with council um, as a councillor and, and then as a mayor as well. Um, I think the times are changing. Politics has become more entrenched in council, which is a real shame because politics doesn't belong in council. Okay, it's always there and it always has been there, always will be there, but I think it's got a lot more entrenched in, in more recent times and, and that's a bit of a concern. Um, I believe that when, when I was on council, we had a very strong team approach. We were all working together for the benefit of this community. Uh, the staff, the councillors, the mayor, and all the other people that were associated with, with council were part of that team. While the staff, are st many of the staff are still there and some of the councillors are still there, I, I find it difficult to see the same team strength working today. I see a lot of individuals and groups working for themselves and I think that's to the detriment of Orange. So let's hope that in the next council election, people will, will take a look at that and, and try to elect people who have the city's interests at heart, not their own interests. Too much self-interest in, in council these days and that's a, that's, a, that's a terrible thing. What do you think we should be looking for in the coming elections, in the way of candidates, in the way of uh, experience, etc.? Candidates who um, have business experience are fine. Candidates who have community experience are fine as well. You need a good blend of both because business and community is so vital to, to the interests of council. You've got to consider people who are there for the benefit of the city, not themselves. And those people can come from any walks of life. It doesn't. You can't sort of tar all journalists with the same brush. You can't tar all um, police officers with the same brush. Those people can come from anywhere. But I think it's very important if um, if the people can consider those uh, those particular attributes in a, in a person. You were also editor and journalist at the Central Western Daily for many years. Um, what do you think of the current um, sudden revolution in thinking, you know, the sudden or the penny now dropping in terms of where news is going to go? I think, yes, you're right, um, it is suddenly dropping, but it shouldn't be suddenly dropping. It's been obvious for many, many years the direction that, uh, that news is heading. And that is to the detriment of, unfortunately, of local newspapers and national newspapers, uh, even as we've seen of late. Um, pe online is, is the way of the future and the way you do it online as well is very important and it's, it's good to see the papers finally grasping that but I think they're leaving their run a little bit too late and so I fear for the future of newspapers particularly at a local level um, because as the population gets older as the, as the baby boomers get older and, and pass on the younger people do not want to look at newspapers, they want to look online, on their smartphones, on their iPhones, get that news immediately. And uh, newspapers have to move in that direction, magazines have to move in that direction. Um, any, any type of media who needs to reach the people needs to move in that direction. 
So yes, I fear for the future of newspapers and I fear for the many colleagues that, are, that I've, uh, and friends that I've made over many years for their, their futures. And I, I just pray and, and hope that those people can, uh, can get employment in the future and can uh, continue to offer so much to the community as they have done in, in the past. Do you think that uh, photo news can stand alone and satisfy its, region, its readers in the midst of this change? Can it survive as a local newspaper? Uh, yes, I, I think photo news can survive. I, I'm very proud of my involvement and association with photo news and, and starting it off in 2007. I could see that there was a need to provide the community with a real community uh, newspaper, not in terms of, uh, of, of bad news and, and, uh, and, uh, and, and arguments and disputes, but a good news newspaper, one that, that gives the community something that they can be proud of. And I'm, I'm tremendously pleased and delighted that that concept is still going today by uh, and run by the tremendous uh, staff and, and management that are at the Photo News and, and that's a credit to them and I'm very proud to say that I've been part of that and that it's still going. But I think one of the important things about Photo News is that it has grown with the community as the need for immediacy in the news uh, service has, has, has increased in recent years. Photo News has met that need and is now providing that news service online uh, and, and giving people that immediacy they want. And I think that's a great great credit to the to people at Photo News that that is happening now. And, uh, and uh, let it continue to happen because uh, I certainly want to see Photo News continue and I, th I think it can continue because it is not like your traditional newspapers that are struggling so much.